Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Staluponin, fought between Russia and Germany in Staluponin, East Prussia, on August 17th to the 23rd, 1914. Before the war broke out, Russia had moved two armies near the Prussian border, consisting of General Pavel Renenkamp's 1st Army east of the city of Konigsberg and Alexander Sabsinov's 2nd Army to the south. The plan was to utilize a pincer maneuver that would trap any German forces in the area and cut off escape. Even more beneficial to the Russians was the fact that they outnumbered the Germans severely. The Russian armies consisted of about 50,000 men between the two armies, while the Germans only had about 18,000 total, resulting in an almost 3 to 1 advantage for the Russians. Even with these odds, the German general Hermann von Francois, commander of the 1st Corps of the German 8th Army, believed his better trained and better equipped men could deal with the Russians, in what could very well be a preview of further engagements in the future. On the 17th of August, Russian General Renenkampf invaded East Prussia, marching the 1st Army directly towards the Germans. Renenkampf stopped his advance about 5 miles from the border though, even though he hadn't encountered any resistance. Meanwhile, German Commander Francois decided without provocation to move his forces to Staluponin where some of the Russian troops were resting. The fighting was fierce as Francois attacked a Russian division, breaking them and killing 3,000 and capturing another 5,000 Russian troops. This shattered the Russian 105th Regiment. However, the 25th and 29th Russian divisions did have some luck, but not enough to turn to battle. German command learned of Francois' attack and commanded him to retreat back to the Vistula. But Francois refused and told the command to relay the message, report to General Pritzwitz that General von Francois will withdraw when he's defeated the Russians. It turns out the Russians did retreat, and the German army pursued until the Russian artillery began to attack back. His success convinced Pritzwitz to be more aggressive, but that wasn't necessarily more successful in the future. Total casualties for the Germans were a total of 1,297 wounded and killed, while the Russians suffered 3,000 dead and 5,000 wounded and captured. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.